goes on. Fox 2. Ooh. This is gonna be interesting. What up, Jet Team? Ryan here. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm a former F 15E combat fighter pilot, F 16 Thunderbird pilot, and current commercial pilot. And I use that experience to break down epic aviation videos, stories, and subjects. You can fire my way on Instagram. And someone asked me if I could do a reaction to an F 35 versus an F 22 in a DCS dogfight. So ask and you shall receive, my friends. So we're going to do that. But before that, I'm going to break down a couple different things about each jet so we can understand the jets a little bit better before watching them fight. And at the very end of this video, if you stay to the end, I'll give my thoughts on what I think would actually happen in real life if these jets were to meet. I mean, it's essentially like siblings fighting each other, right? It's like the F-35s like, Dad? I'm pretty sure Dad is America in this case. America? The F-22 is picking on me again. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how it would go down. So stay to the end of the video, guys, to see my real world reaction. Before we get going, if you would, just dominate that like button for me. Maybe even subscribe. Every time you like and subscribe, an F-35 has a fighting chance against an F-22. Well, maybe not. I guess we'll see. Let's dive in. All right, guys, let's talk about the F-22. The F-22 is the boss fighter. You know, we've all seen those fifth generation moves that it can do when it comes to thrust vectoring, stealth capabilities. It's a twin engine fighter with twin tails. It's got a single seat configuration. There's no two seaters of this or the F-35 for that matter. It's got adaptations made for air to ground. I'm actually lucky enough to be friends with one of the early squadron commanders who helped the F-22 get some air to ground modifications, but it's certainly not meant for that. This thing is meant to be the beast mode air superiority fighter that really controls and patrols the skies around the globe. So the typical loadout for the F-22 would be two AIM-9 mics in the side bays and then six AMRAMs in the center bay. You can also load AIM-9Xs which have been configured for the side bays. That was a little upgrade, a little gift from Uncle Sam. But ultimately, as you can tell, this thing is a missile truck. It also has 480 rounds of the 20 millimeter cannon, baby. <clears throat> That thing is fun to shoot, so that's less than five seconds, but in a dogfight, most likely, it's all you're gonna need. So that's in its stealth mode where there's nothing hanging on the wings, but there's a lot of adaptations when you put this thing into beast mode, which includes air to ground weapons and things we won't get into for the purposes of this video. But yeah, the F-22 is definitely a versatile fighter, but more focused on air to air, for sure. And now moving on to the F-35. F-35, don't worry, we didn't forget about you, little guy. Let's do this. The F-35 is a single engine, single seat configuration. That engine is extremely reliable though. I mean, it's unprecedented how reliable that engine is. And it's actually got the capability to send any type of fault code that it encounters in flight to maintenance before it even lands. So this thing is super advanced and reliable. So when it comes to a single engine versus a twin engine, I wouldn't be too worried about the single engine, even though at first it's gonna feel a little bit weird. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> and it's worth noting that the HMD, the helmet mounted display in the F-35 is unprecedented, whereas the F-22 has a heads up display, a fixed HUD in the aircraft. The F-35 doesn't have that fixed HUD. It has an HMD. And just from my basic knowledge of using HMDs in the F-15E, man, there is so much situational awareness that you can gain from it. And the F-35 has built-in cameras on the airframe. So you can literally look through your wings and look through the fuselage. That's huge when you're in a dogfight, but even more huge when you're doing air to ground operations and contested airspace, you can look around and see threats. So really an unprecedented capability there with the HMD of the F-35. Let's talk about the loadout of the F-35. So first of all, this thing's gonna be able to carry two 2,000 pound bombs internally, plus two AMRAMs, which is awesome. And then on the wings, you can throw in an AIM-9X, but there's a catch. Because currently the AIM-9X won't fit in the weapons bay of the F-35. So if it's gonna carry an AIM-9X, it has to do it on the wings, and it's a specially adapted AIM-9X. It's called an AIM-9X Block II 
Plus, and the shapes of the missile are actually changed to make it more stealthy, and some of the coatings on that missile are more stealthy as well. So really interesting that it has the ability to do it, but it can't be as stealthy if it's carrying the AIM-9X. Hopefully down the road, Uncle Sam is like, all right, fine, here's an allowance. Go get yourself an AIM-9X that fits inside of you. Gosh, kids are so expensive. <laughs> And the F-35 also carries 220 rounds of 25 millimeter cannon. So ultimately when it comes to air to air fighting, you don't need that extra caliber. You don't need a bigger gun per se, but when you're shooting at the ground, it definitely helps. I mean, think jets are pretty fragile, right? You put one well-placed round of a 20 millimeter or a 25 millimeter through an airframe and it's going to be a bad day for that jet, especially when you throw in HEI, which is high explosive incendiary. But ultimately when it comes to air to ground, you have more capability with a slightly bigger bullet. So there you go, guys. We have a baseline understanding of these two beasts. Now, let's watch them battle it out in DCS. And again, this is Growling Sidewinder. Want to say shout out. Thanks so much for letting me break down this video. Let's dive in. So the F-35, F-22 fight is another one of those fights that was highly in demand by the community. So we're just going to do it here today. But so that's an extremely close pass for a dogfight, but the F-35, obviously knowing they're at a disadvantage going against the F-22, I like it because you're essentially dusting off that F-22. And again, guys, anything you can do at the beginning to throw that enemy pilot off their game, whoever you're fighting against, it will make them pause. Or if it makes them a little bit scared, like again, a high angle gunshot as you're coming into the merge, not taught, not a tactic that a fighter pilot would tell you that they learned in training. However, when you think of doing this in the real world, if you throw someone off their game and they make a bad move, could mean the difference between life and death. So a close pass like that, I like it. I like it, F-35. Keep it up. Into the merge, the F-35 is not gonna survive even one turn with the F-22. Fox 2. And that's one dead fat Amy. You can hear, he's like, uh, it's, he's not gonna survive one turn with the F-22. He's sad for it. I think he feels for the F-35. Then we got an F-35 fanboy on our hands. It's okay if you are. Sorry that you have to shoot one of your own. <laughs> there you go. Not even one turn with the F-22, man. It just wasn't designed for it. Yeah, I think the F-35 there needed probably an extra 25 to 30 degrees of turn there in order to get enough nose position to get a shot off. And obviously this F-35 is not carrying the AIM-9X. You might hear me talk about the AIM-9X a little bit throughout this, but this would be a fight where the F-35 needs that AIM-9X for sure. These are the fights that the community wanted, so this is what we're gonna do, but the results are gonna be the same every single time. The F-22 is just way too good. Into the merge once again. Once again, F-35 nowhere near to getting nose on. Fox 2, splash 1 F-35. This is gonna be a pretty short video. <laughs> I think it's interesting though that the F-22 over G's, you know, when he does his like brake turn, uh, this thing's got a limiter on it like the F-16. So it shouldn't over G. Obviously there's some H asymmetric things that can make it over G. Like you can over G the Viper, the F-16, even though it has a limiter that should stop you right at nine to 9.1 G's. But yeah, sometimes if you get asymmetric on it, it can over G, but I, I am a little bit surprised with the over G call from the F-22. F-22, just calm down, you'll be okay. Again, that's a nice dust off by the F-35, man. I mean, that's what you got going for you. You gotta do it. And now I'm looking at the bottom of the F-35 actually right here, and I see that it does have AIM-9s. I'm assuming these are AIM-9 mics, which are not off boresight. The AIM-9X is an off boresight weapon. It has a seeker that can go out to 90 degrees off 
of the aircraft. So if you can see here, this is close to 90 degrees. So if you have that HMD, that helmet mounted device, and that display is showing you the Raptor right here at about 90 degrees. So if you superimpose that pilot in the cockpit right now, right here, it's gonna be close to 90 degrees. So there's a chance if that's a true AIM-9 X that you're gonna be able to get a shot off at the Raptor right there. So Raptor, it's not just an easy day, bro. You gotta be careful if, if you're fighting something with an AIM-9X. Here we go into round three. Now, as an F-22 pilot in this situation, I think make it a sporting match, man. Just go guns, guns only. <laughs> I mean, I get it. The Fox 2 is a great weapon as well. So we'll see what happens. So this will be the last round. I think we get the point. The F-35 is never going to stand a chance against the F-22. But when you imagine these two going into a, a fight together, it can be something special. He came in inverted that time, so he's gonna do the inverted dive once again nose on fox 2 <laughs> okay so again a nice tight pass with the merge and now i like what the f-35 is doing here with getting their nose down because that's where they're going to potentially have the most ability to get that 90 degree high off bore sight shot with the aim 9x block 2 plus again that's an advanced version of the aim 9x so if that's if they had it i'm i'm clearly they don't because at this position right here if you're pointed 90 degrees down at the earth and you look you look straight out you're gonna have that 90 degree shot at this raptor so uh, you know, this Raptor's kind of lucky not be getting shot right now. Once again, nose on, Fox 2. <laughs> uh, splash 1 F-35, who looks like he might crash into a golf course. <laughs> Just a side note there, when you do that aileron roll after a shot to keep visual, man, that is just a good feeling because you know you're going to get a complete view of what happens with that missile. So he does like an aileron roll there after that shot, but again, it's good because it helps him keep the visual. That's something that you would actually do in real life as well. Ooh. That's crazy. Imagine playing golf and an F-35 just crashes. <laughs> Not even the F-35 crashing, but you're playing golf and there is a fifth generation dogfight going on overhead. Could you imagine the golfers? They're like, Come on, bro, I'm trying to golf down here. <laughs> if it was me, I'd be like, dudes, we're not playing golf anymore. We're gonna watch this epic fifth generation dogfight. Yeah, I think that, that takes priority over golf today. <laughs> but on another note, when it comes to golf, I think it's hilarious how essentially every Air Force base has a golf course. We got room for the runway, but can we get a golf course in there? Because if not, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> that's a story to tell your buddies. Again, right there, you can get a nice visual on how that 90 degree shot could happen from the F-35 right now. And that's what I'd be thinking as an F-35 pilot is like, bro, this AIM-9X has your name on it. And then I'd be like, good night, done. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap the video up right here. We don't want to do the same. So there you go, guys. There's that dogfight between brothers or brother and sister. The AIM-9X wasn't used by the F-35. I mean, if it was, I think it would completely change this dogfight. And a quick note on the HMD of the F-35. I got to use the HMD in the F-15E, and the way that it would increase situational awareness in a dogfight with the AIM-9X was ridiculous. It was so nice to use that thing. And a quick side story, I got to use the HMD in a dog fight versus the F-22. Now, being able to see it far out, not directly on, and being able to see where the F-22 was, that was probably one of the best things. Now, this was a set up dog fight. You know, there's no way I would have made it to the merge with that F-22 if they had seen me, but we pretended like, you know, it was the heat of battle and we didn't see each other. So we merged and then I went up and the F-22 went up as well. The thing that happened though, obviously, is the F-22 just squared the corner 
and was essentially continuing to drive to my turn circle as I'm going up. It just squared the corner, drove to what we call the elbow and put itself in a position to use guns. Pretty sure the pilot was making it a sporting match and using guns only, but it was really incredible just to see how that jet can put its nose on you anytime it wants. So really the only way that I could have gotten a shot off would be if before it squared that corner, I was able to look, get the A9X caged on that jet and fired. But at the end of the day, the F-35 and the F-22 complement each other. They're meant to be used in conjunction with one another. I mean, I picture the perfect scenario is the F-35 is down, knocking out ground targets, maybe taking out some aircraft here and there, but then it's got a cap, a patrol of F-22s up above it, just creating air superiority so that F-35 can just be like, ah, I think I'm gonna bomb that and that. And the F-22 is like, Go get him, brother, I got your back. So talk about the best combo in history, F-22, F-35, no doubt. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, you want me to do more DCS, let me know in the comments below. It's been super fun, love chatting with you guys. And again, go follow Growling Signwinder if you haven't already, super cool channel. And before you go, guys, if you would, just dominate that like button for me, maybe even subscribe. Every time you like and subscribe an F-35 somewhere, it's a nice aim 9x for christmas something like that thanks for being here guys most of all hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video